I'm so sorry about this video. I don't know what happened this morning, but I did get a good amount of sleep. Hey, what's happening? In this video, I'm going to share how you can become a full-time content creator by following these simple seven steps that will allow you to grow an audience and bank. Let's jump in. Step number one, leverage big money niches. Here's why. Thing is, is when you move forward and you focus on a big money niche, you've heard it before, right? The money, <laughs> the riches is in the niches, dig. <laughs> I'm talking health, fitness, finance, investing, personal development, travel, food, pets, make money, and relationships. I love you. <laughs> oh my God, please, somebody make it in. No more jokes for the rest of this video because this is a professional YouTube video talking about professional strategies and tactics. Step number two, see, look, no glove. Number two is to bank with YouTube. Fact is, no other platform even comes close to the amount of money that's been paid out to creators. Yes, you've already heard it. We're gonna be able to make money with YouTube Shorts, fantastic. You can make money with live streams, with long form content, super stickers, brand deals. The money is on YouTube. You ever see this movie? You should if you haven't. Step number three. Leverage the easiest way to make money. And because you've already chosen one of those big money making niches, you're gonna find it so much easier to find great affiliate programs that match the audience you're gonna attract and then you'll be able to cash in, get the money, the cheddar, the bank, the coin, the quan. But when it comes to affiliate marketing, one of the things I really want you to consider and focus on is not to overanalyze and think about how do I make the money? Instead, just move forward in one of those niches I mentioned and then make content based on audience interest. Use some of the free keyword tools. There's a new free keyword tool right in YouTube Analytics. Cool. And this is especially true early. You want to develop an audience. You don't want to worry about making money when you ain't got no audience because you can't get blood from a rock and you can't get money from affiliate marketing without an audience. And speaking of audience, that's step number four. I want you to think about capturing an audience that's already on YouTube. I want you to think about creating video content for the audience, for the viewers who haven't found your channel yet. The more you stay true to the audience, their wants, their needs, what they value in a video, which is the content. It's not tags, it's not the channel art. It's really great information that you're gonna share in a creative and fun way. When you do that, everything will fall into place. You'll find ways to easily incorporate affiliate offers into the content that people love and you'll make a lot of money. I care. Step number five is you gotta master these kind of content types and you gotta talk fast. Fast, really, really fast. See, the thing is, is this is attention deficit theater and people, they, you gotta hold on to their attention or they go, they click, they watch another video. But create something that's fun. Ask yourself, what is my style? What is my style? And then focus on delivering great information that can help people move forward. And then you'll hold the retention. You'll get people to engage. Did you already leave a comment? I hope so. Master these content types first. Once you're comfortable, move on. Long form videos publish once a week. Do it. Do it. YouTube shorts, three to five videos a week. They're simple. They're easy. Don't overthink it. Don't try to create the perfect short. Just create a short. I've got information coming up on shorts real soon. All right. I'm not sure what this is all about. Here are a few tips for your YouTube shorts. Do not create a short in any editor like the TikTok editor or the YouTube shorts editor. Instead, download an app for your phone because it's a lot easier to download a cheap app and then to film videos and edit on your phone. We want quick, simple. We're gonna focus on what matters most to the audience and that's the content. These phones are incredible, fantastic. Mwah, chef's kiss. And they'll allow you to bang out shorts quickly. Another tip. Now I like to use an app called InShot. It's inexpensive. Think about the cost of a latte each month. Dig. 
And when it comes to that long form content, start with your phone. Don't spend any money, use what you have, start where you're at and start creating content. Step number six, once you're up to speed with the content we spoke about, you're uploading long form content, you're crushing it with YouTube Shorts, then move forward and think about a secondary platform to focus on. Secondary, that's important. And what I want you to think about is what kind of content do you love to make? For example, I love photography, so I share a lot of photos on Facebook. And by the way, I gotta tell you, when you start sharing things other than ways to make money, you know those super niches I spoke about? When you just share content that people relate to, like I publish a lot of photos on Facebook that are nature, uh, birds, bugs, any kind of cool photography, the moon rising over Sloan's Lake. Well, guess what? Lots of people engage with that content and then when I wanna share a YouTube video, I'm gonna be more likely to get people to see that YouTube video, gaining me even more views. Bonus tip, if you're here to make money, then focus on that and think about that as much as you think about getting a lot of views. Why? Because the thing you wanna think about is you really wanna get a viewer to take action. If you want a subscriber, well, that's not a view, that's a viewer who takes action by clicking the subscribe button. If you wanna sell something, then you need the viewer to actually take out their wallet, which is an action, and to buy something. So prioritize content types that will lead to more sales, more engagement, and more subscribers, and you'll go far. I'll talk about this in an upcoming video. If you haven't subscribed, consider. And finally, step number seven, those YouTube shorts that you're creating, save them to your phone. Create a folder or tag them in some way so you can find the finished and edited shorts and then republish them or repurpose them on TikTok, on Instagram. Boom. Thank you so much for, oh, I said thank you. Oh my goodness. That's a boo-boo. Never hint to the viewer that the video content is over. Instead, just say, by the way, if you want to learn more about being a creator, check out this video on the screen right now. Do that and you'll get more views, you'll make more money, and you'll crush it. You dig?